Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So we are down at the valley today. Travis is off in the distance. He has the 7600 on the Kuhn Pro System 9400 NT. And he is no-tilling into the grass, the field up here, um, down in the valley. So nutrient came through and they sprayed off the clover that was planted by the person who ran it before us. Um, we ran it several years ago. We tried putting corn and beans down here. This ground isn't good at producing row crops. So uh, the person who ran it after us tried the same thing, didn't work out. And uh, they came through and planted clover. And after we started running it again, the clover doesn't yield quite like Travis wants it to. So he's hoping that he can bump up the yield um, by planting a higher rate, uh, different mixes of grasses down here because the field ground down here does seem to yield grass pretty well. You can see all the weeds and all the clover dying here and they left the grass he's doing the outside passes now this is probably going to take him the better part of the day to do with a 10-foot seed drill but this is the first time where well i guess we did use it to no-till some grass in the strips last year but this is the first real no-till application that we're using the seed drill for this year He's seeding a couple different mixes today. We split the front hopper of the seed drill up into two parts. It's got that divider in there. And we set up different rates. But we've got 850 pounds of seed uh, in the box. And it, up front, we've got this grass master mix, which is tall fescue, orchard grass, as well as perennial ryegrass. In the back, we've got a mix of Timothy, and reed canary grass. So up front, the grass master, we've got set to 21.59 pounds to the acre. Uh, in the back, we've got it set to 4.09 pounds per acre. And I'm also running, I've got the alfalfa boxes running back here as well. Um, we had some seed left over, so we decided to just uh, lower the rate down to try to spread it out evenly across this field and use all of it up. And I've got the, I had the alfalfa boxes set for, I want to say 22 pounds to the acre and I lowered it down because there's only some down in the bottom. I think this seed drill is a good fit for the 7600. From when I was running it, it definitely was back there. You could tell the tractor was kind of pulling hard with it. But that's also on hills. There's roughly 35 acres here that he's going to be sitting down. Got a little bit of dew this morning. Can you hear those tires slipping? You can see the oats that we put in on top. 
but we have our Grassmaster mix just there underneath. We put the oats on, again, just to get rid of it. We're basically throwing everything extra that we have at this field. And then in the back, we have that Timothy and that Regenary grass. So you'll notice this bare spot here going around by the buildings. And Travis worked this up and seeded it down with a waterway mix that we had on the seed drill before we had planned to no-till this entire field. So he's just gonna go through this and hit this again, uh, but you can see the waterway grass coming up. Pretty good. Dad and I are gonna let Travis run. We got corn to haul. It's been two weeks since we seeded this down. And as you can see in this trench here, the grass is growing, albeit slowly. What we really need is rain to get that stuff growing a lot more, but it's coming along. We aren't gonna see as much of a return on the grass that we seeded down uh, this summer, even as much as we will next year. So after they came through and sprayed this off, it should have killed all the broad leaves like the clover and it left berry areas like this. So having this seeded in is really gonna help fill these areas in next year to give the grass an advantage against the other weeds and whatever competition it might have out in the field. Probably after June 1st, we'll be looking at cutting hay. So that's coming along fairly soon here as well. So be sure to stay tuned as we go into our first cutting of hay and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on what's going on around the farm. With that, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All our farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time. Hey, sweetie. My sweetheart. Ooh, who's a good girl? Yeah, Luna is.